aber lässt den Gorgosevic da überhaupt nicht zur Ruhe kommen. Und die Aktion des Kroaten natürlich so ein bisschen unüberlegt. Knallt einfach mal zu in der Hoffnung, dass er da auch durchkommt. Entscheidend. Ja, viele Schläge, wenig Treffer. Anders gar kann der. Today I got a video for you guys talking uh, Canelo vs. Bivol. Uh, big fight coming up, most likely Cinco de Mayo. Uh, I think it's Dan's uh, network. You know, um, I'm a Canelo hater. I respect what he does. He's a good fighter. But I think he's an opportunist. You know, he picks the right fights at the right times, the right weight classes. And what did he go from 68? Now he's just jumping up to 75. It is what it is. I'm going to give you my honest assessment of this fight. And then maybe what's next for Canelo. What would I like to see? And, you know, he's the biggest name in the sport. Because I'm doing... I'm doing Stevenson versus Valdez video. I already did. I did the Yugis versus Spence video. I'll probably do Romero versus Davis. And probably whatever other big fights on. But I guarantee you this video will do better on all of them by double. Because Can Canelo is the face of boxing, and he's in the pound for pound list. Don't get me, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, number one in the pound for pound list is Terrence Crawford, and Terrence Crawford would beat the shit out of Canelo. But that's not here, that's here nor there. I'm not here to talk about that. What I'm here to do is talk about Canelo versus Bivol, and then what's next after this. So, all right. So I checked the DraftKings after after this. I, I mean, before this video, and it was just like, Canelo is like um, minus 250, 260. Bivol's plus like around 300, 350. That's fucking way better than I thought it was going to be. I thought like Canelo's going to be minus 5, 600, and then Bivol was going to be like plus 500. Either Vegas is playing us, or... There's some heat behind Bivol, and they think this Russian can beat the Mexican. Me, personally, I don't see it happening, okay? The only way this would happen, would have to happen, is if, like, you build a wall around, like, the Athletic Commission. You build a wall around the Dan's Network. You build a wall around, um, the ref. Build a wall around the judges. Then maybe Bivol might get a fair shot. I don't know. And that's, that's the only walls I want built. I don't want any walls on the Mexican-American border at all. We don't need them. We, we, can have, we have drones. Mexican people are great. The people that are crossing the border aren't the Mexican people. That's a whole other story. But what I'm saying, I just want to build a wall around like the whole system in boxing to make it like a fair match. Because Bivol's going into this as a Russian. So what the fuck are we talking about? Like I would have to bet Canelo if I had my last money on the line i would have to bet canelo because i mean first off you know russians aren't liked at all they are just a very disliked person people right now it's not even bivol's fault bivol's just a boxer that's what i hate about this shit you know all these like even the world cup i think they 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 blocked russia all these other sports are just you can't have russians play like why they're not a part of this war War's war, there's... That irritates the fuck out of me. So maybe Canelo made a calculated move doing that, or maybe Canelo did a calculated move anyways. It is what it is. It is what it is. I, all I'm saying is, you know, good for Canelo, no boxing, no life. If he beats fucking Bivol in a fair fight, and I, and I judge it, and I say Canelo won, then you know what? I'll get a fucking Mexican flag and a no boxing, no life tattoo. I swear to God I will. And it doesn't matter. I'll put it on here. Who cares? I'm getting another sleeve anyway. I'm, I'm running out of ideas. But what I'm saying is, this will be a good fight. Because Canelo cannot knock Bivol out. Canelo's movement isn't as good as, as fluid as Bivol's movement. And 175 pounds... I think he's going to be gassing towards the end of the fight, but, you know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. All I'm saying is, yes, I'm a Canelo hater, but I think he wins this fight because he wins all his fights, right? He's, he's you know, undefeated, undisputed, 
net will never lose, you know, because he's got everybody. Everybody's got his back. You know, I've been in boxing. I I've seen that part of the game and the lower levels, but nonetheless, I've I felt it personally, and it ain't good. But yeah, Canelo will win this fight. So what's next for him? What's next for Canelo? You know, um, there's four fights. There's only four fights after this, and if they don't happen, I don't give a fuck. And I don't care about Dan's network giving him all this fucking money. I'm not going to buy the pay-per-view if these four fights don't happen after this. And Bivol's a goddamn great fight. And I think Bivol can win. Do I think even if Bivol wins 8 out of 12 rounds, he's going to get the decision? Absolutely not. So what's next? What's the next fair fight for Canelo? Charlo. Big Charlo. Can Charlo, what's my opinion with Charlo and Canelo? That's a 50-50 fight down the, that's a 50-50 fight as, as they come, okay? I actually favor Canelo 55-45 in that fight. That's a tough fight for Charlo. I don't know if he's ready for it, but he could be. And uh, so what's another fight I want to see Canelo in? Come on. Andrade. Andrade is he with Dan's. Are we going to get this done? Uh, but you know what? Canelo doesn't want to slick southpaw Dan's partner. 100% he doesn't want to fight Andrade. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Canelo probably will never fight Andrade, and it is what it is. Andrade has maybe not made the right decisions in his career. I, I don't know. I don't give a fuck. But all I'm saying is that's another fight I would like to see him in. But I don't see it happening. Because if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. And I just don't see that fight happening. Third fight for Canelo. Bert Aviv. Better Aviv. The Russian. Another Russian that I know Bivol don't want to fight. He's going to fight Joe Smith. It's going to be a long night for Joe Smith. But nonetheless, that's a fight I want to see Canelo fight. Him versus Bert Aviv. Who do I have winning that fight? I don't think Canelo could last with him. And I don't think that fight will ever happen. If Bever V is maybe 41, it might happen. And that's three years away. Isn't he like 38 right now? So I don't see that fight happening. So the last fight, and the super fight in my opinion, you know, uh, for the Mexican fan base, American Mexicans, Mexican Mexicans, you know, all Hispanics, Latinos, everything, everybody. What's, what's the major fight? It's Benavides versus Canelo, 100%. Is that fight going to happen? I don't know. I was on Fight Hype, and I was watching, like, an interview with Benavidez, and he was just being, like, a fucking nice guy. He was like, oh, if I get this fight with Canelo, you know, it's life-changing money, yada, yada. Shut the fuck up. Start talking shit about him. He's not going to give you that fight. Canelo doesn't want any of you, Benavidez. So you're going to have to go earn it somehow. You're going to have to talk some shit, slap him at a fucking presser or in the street. you got to do something. But Canelo and Benavidez is the fight. And I believe Benavides is Canelo's kryptonite. And that's it. Canelo's made a lot of money. He's got, he's got thick skin. This video that's going to do maybe a thousand views is not going to hurt him at all. But what I'm saying is, those are the fights after the Bivol fight that I, I want to see. I personally believe Bivol can beat Canelo. But I think the, the, the you know, the game is rigged. I, I do. 100%, especially boxing. You know, the UFC, Dana White, that, that, that shit's real. Boxing, it's all smoke and mirrors. It's all Democrats and Republicans. You know, they're fighting in, in front of, like, your face. They're just fighting. They got beef. They got heat. But behind closed doors, they already know what deal is going to be done. So it's just pretty much WWE, if you ask me. So anyways, guys, that's my video. Uh, I'm just doing prediction videos this uh, month because you know Kakani Mizrao is fighting hopefully I have an opponent on the 16th you know we're trying to get him a second fight it's a very difficult game out there we're trying to get him to the United States but you know um, if you like this channel or if you don't like this channel definitely check him out because you know he's going to be a contender in the United States so thanks for watching my video guys and uh, I'm really actually looking forward to Canelo and Bevel I might actually go down there and, uh, you know, for the entertainment, probably just fucking bet games and shit and have a good time, play poker. But you know what? Um, you know, Cadello is taking a risk with Bivol. 
he is taking a major risk. Because in my opinion, Bivol's the better boxer. Bivol has better footwork. Bivol's the better technician. It's a big risk. Canelo's making a shit ton of money. Fuck. You give me a million dollars, I'll fucking cut three fingers off right now. Canelo's making, what, 70 million, 60 million a fucking fight? So yeah, he all right. So thanks for watching my video, guys. And uh, Bivol, Canelo, dance pay-per-view. Go get it. I'm telling you, it's going to be a good one. Even if the judges sway for Canelo. All right, peace out.